guys and welcome back to more Persona 4 Golden. Last part we pretty much had our first day of school and we met some cute girls and then a dead body appeared on an antenna apparently. So now what we're doing is I guess just fucking around. Uh, I don't think there's really anything for us to do. I don't even think we have any money. Yeah, the, the game doesn't even tell us that we have money. So uh, I guess what you could do is explore but I'm really not in the exploring mood right now, so let's just go back home, I guess. Wow, this is a really nice scooter. There's a scooter parked in front of the house. Uh, hello ladies. And it was terrible. I was doing some work on the farm and the police came around to question me. It's such a dangerous world these days, I can't even relax when I go out shopping. I was going to buy some tiny soul tomato for dinner tonight too. What now? Well, that's no problem. Here, you can have some that I harvested from my garden. It's no big thing. Anyone can start a home garden as long as they have some unused land to work with. You take the spot next to the Dojima place, for example. There's more than enough land to make a fine garden. Oh my, is that so? They start a home garden too. Does that mean I can look forward to them sharing the vegetables they grow? <laughs> well, uh... That requires some work to get this started as a garden, and I really don't feel like it. So no, housewives, you can uh, go eat a dick. It will become evening when you return home. Return home? I'm right in front of my house. Why wouldn't I? I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Oh. Our top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. Wow, so... Wow, there really was a dead body. School zone is being shown on TV. Could this be the incident you heard about? The deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, oh no. a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... Uh, the, the Inaba Police Department, that's where Dad works. <sighs> uh, are you worried about him? Uh-uh, it's his job, so things like this happen. Wow, for a little girl of her age, she's really understanding. Because I know when I was, was young, I was, a, <laughs> from a large I was pretty fucking antenna, dumb. Atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. A thick fog common to the area has slowed their progress, and plans to fully canvas the area are delayed until tomorrow. Great. More fog. It seems that the local TV station's announcer was found dead near the Yasugami High School campus. The announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Her affair with the local councilman's secretary had been on the news just the other day. They found her on the roof? That's scary. That really is scary. And apparently the killer had no problems doing that, too. Wow, that's a very sick individual. <gasps> oh, it's Juness. Oh, fuck, what just happened? At Juness. Every day is Customer Appreciation Day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. Every day's great at your Juness. Huh. It's been, what, two days? A day? I still really hate this line. Every day's great at your Juness. And you keep rubbing it in my fucking face. Nanako's looking at you expectantly. Uh... I'm going to suck up my pride and sing along with her. You memorized it already? <laughs> I'm the best one in my class. Uh, who are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? Nanako sings the song to herself over and over again. Despite her already know, knowing that you don't like the song, it seems that she's forgotten all about the scary story. Well, <laughs> I guess that's good then. What are you up to, Nanako? 
When is dad coming home? Wow, things just got really heavy in here. <laughs> Damn! Nanako keeps looking towards the TV with a worried expression. You should leave her alone. Probably. Uh, anything in the fridge? Nothing catches your eye. I don't feel like being a fat ass today. Even though I just saved, let's, let's save again. You know, uh, going through this again is really not so bad. I mean, I know there's, I've been saying less things compared to the first time I did this, but I, I still think it's alright. You're still tired from getting used to your new life. You should return to your room and rest. Sure. The game was going to make me do it anyway. Wow, he tsh, slow down there, champ. Oh no. Someone Rolling student. Pick a name. Maybe you should help him. <laughs> you decided to stop being such an asshole. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um Oh yeah, that's right. You're that transfer student. You Narukami. It it says it right there. You know you can say my name, right? It's it's not hard. I, I swear. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Oh, nice you'll say you. your name, but you won't say my name. Alright, asshole. <laughs> Is your bike okay? Are you okay, Yosuke? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Yosuke seems to be alright. Say, did you hear about the incident from yesterday? They found that announcer lady hanging from an antenna. Yeah, I was actually watching that with my little cousin. Didn't really phase her. Well, it did phase her until Juness happened, then, uh... I, I cried in my room that following night because I hate that fucking song. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. Uh, you might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed right? up. And again, <clears throat> it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. Come on, Yosuke, get your, get your priorities straight, oh, man. Too late. <laughs> you want to ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be Oh. Uh, remember, guys, uh, this man right here was originally supposed to be a love interest. Uh, I, I'm kind of happy that they cut it out. Be quiet, you idiots. You guys are in high school, aren't you? Can't you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice... I'll straighten up your riding attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are, that are curious about the murder. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intently. Hey, I'm not as dumb anymore. Wow, that, that was pretty fucking fast. Oh, we're, we're still in school. Great. So... You're getting used to this. This is place? literally my second day here, Yosuke. No. Yeah, well, you it, just got but here. You, you know what? That That's okay, Yosuke. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. <laughs> I can get my porn from anywhere, Yosuke. What? Wait, what? The air is clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? What would that be? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? See, you already know you're a piece of shit, and you're doing this to me. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? You helped me out this morning, so it's on me. Sure, free food. What about me, huh? No apologies? My trial of the dragon? Uh -oh. You always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? Mm -hmm. Double date? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. I... you... what? You're you're not fat, Yukiko. I, I hope you know that. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Alright. Bye, Yukiko. Oh well, we should get going too. Haha, <laughs> I guess it's a date and then a third wheel. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? You know, I, 
either you don't have to eat or I don't have to eat. I, I don't care which one. Juness Food Court. This place is pretty nice. Not gonna lie. This is the cheap place you were talking about? Ugh, they don't have grilled steak here. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Huh? Oh, right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. So, did you get the same treatment that I got with everyone? Wait a minute. Why did Chie say it'd be, our, it'd be their only chance to talk to a guy from the big city when they had you? This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. So our entire family came out here. Here. This is to welcome you to town. Thanks. Give me that. Sadonaka, yours is on me too. Yeah, I know. Oh, that, that was cute what Chie did. The conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Ooh, uh... I can't blame it all on Juness, can you? I mean, you? say if Walmart came over a bunch of, uh... If Walmart came over and then there was a bunch of little small shops going around it, yeah, there would be no point in going to those little small shops unless they have something there that Walmart doesn't. So, I kind of see it as the same way. Who's that? Hey, it's Saki Senpai. Sorry, be right back. Is she Yosuke's girlfriend? <laughs> he wishes. That's Saki Kanishi. Her family runs a liquor store in the shopping district. Ooh. I think she's working here part time, though. Wait, so she's basically betraying her family business by working here, I guess. Well, I wouldn't really say it's betraying. I mean, she is earning extra money to hopefully bring over. Well, no, it's kind of her money. But it's not really all that bad, I guess. Hey, how's it going? You look beat. Now, now that I see her up close, this is the same asshole sister that was that ate her brother's uh, snack, isn't it? I already don't hey, like her. I'm finally on break. What's up, Hanachan? Boosting the family business by bringing your friends here? Hanachan. Oh. Madam, you wound me. Kidding aside, you look down. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just a little tired. Hey, if you need to talk, I'm always willing to listen. I... <laughs> I'm okay. Thanks, though. Damn. <sighs> Why did I leave school early yesterday? How did you leave school early? Hey! Is he the kid who transferred here? No! Damn, she came over here anyway. Are you the transfer student? Oh, did you hear about me already? It must be nice to have someone else from the big city to talk to, huh? Yeah, I, I guess. I don't see Hanachan hanging out with the other guys much. Not necessarily. He doesn't have too many friends. So I hope you two get along good. Hanachan's a good guy, but he can get nosy sometimes. You gotta tell him right to his face when he starts to annoy you. I'll, I'll be sure to uh, remember that. Uh... <laughs> Damn, these choices. Nah, he's a great guy. He's pretty cool. <laughs> I like him. I know. I'm just kidding. Come on, Senpai. There's no need to worry about something like that. Well, my break's just about over. Back to work I go. Later. See ya. It's nice meeting oh, you. Oh, what, Senpai? <laughs> Saki Senpai says I'm annoying, but she's even nosier than me. She has a younger brother, and she treats me pretty much the same way. Aw, so you're not going to be getting in that, huh? Sucks, doesn't it? Oh, you don't want her treating you like a brother, huh? 
<laughs> I get it. So that's how it is. The daughter of a local family-run liquor store, and the scion of the invading chain. Oh, the flame of forbidden love. All right, Chie, get your fan fictions out of here. Dude, it's not like that. Oh, really? Well, I know just the thing to cheer up that lovesick heart. You ever hear of the Midnight Channel? You're supposed to look into a TV that's switched off, alone. Exactly at midnight on a rainy night. You know what? This reminds me of that, uh... That pencil game that everyone... That recently just happened out of nowhere. I don't even know when it started. But apparently, it's it works. And, uh... I'm not really about that life. So, no. I won't be trying it out. Thanks, so. While you're staring at your own image, another person will appear on the screen. I'm not gonna lie, that's just freaky. And they say that person's your soulmate. What? For a second, I thought you were actually going to say something. No, hold on, hold, hold on, Yosuke. Th this might actually be intriguing because uh, if Chie shows up, then uh, B Base Atlas was right. How can you get all excited over such a childish urban legend like that? Childish, huh? You don't believe it, do you? Of course I don't. Well, it's raining tonight. Let's all try it out. Then you'll see. Try it out? Wait, you haven't even tried it yourself? <laughs> wow. I'm trying to remember the last time I heard something this stupid. Damn. All that aside, you know that incident yesterday? You guys think it was murder? Ooh, what if the culprit behind it was still lurking around? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking laugh. Jeez. You shouldn't joke about stuff like that. Now who's the childish one? All I'm saying is, you guys better try it out tonight. Well, considering uh, I can just lie, then uh, yeah, I might just do that. But there is a chance that I might see you there, Chie. So I'm gonna give it all I got. You heard the rumor about the Midnight Channel, where one can see one's soulmate on a rainy night. Maybe you should try it out tonight. Well, the game says I have to, so I, I, I guess I will. That was a pretty short day, compared to yesterday at least. <sighs> Another dinner alone with Nanako, and it's still just as awkward. Uh, don't worry. Yeah. Damn, <laughs> made it even more awkward. Oh, he's home! <sighs> what a day. What's up, Uncle? I'm back. Did anything happen while I was out? No. You're late again. I'm sorry. I'm busy at work. Can you put the news on for me? Damn. Won't even eat with us. Next. More details in the developing story on the incident in Foggy Inaba. Announcer Mayumi Yamano's dead body was found hanging above a house in this isolated rural town. It is confirmed that Miss Yamano had been involved in an affair with Taro Namatame, husband of Enka singer Misuzu Hiragi. I think... I think it's just after this game, we, we never hear of Misuzu ever again. Nyan Arena, Ultimax, uh, Q... Probably dancing all night. Like she's, she just like disappeared. Actually, I think she went somewhere. If I do recall, maybe it's a follow-up report about the incident yesterday. When Miss Yamano, the TV announcer, was alive, she was having an affair with the councilman's secretary. <clears throat> the man's wife seems to be Misuzu Hiragi, an Anka singer. Could the incident be tied to their lovers' quarrel? The police plan to investigate That's this relationship and question any personnel involved with them. In addition, we now bring you an exclusive interview with the local student who found Miss Yamano's body. <sighs> an interview with a kid? <sighs> Where the hell did they find her? What went through your mind when you saw it? Could you tell she was dead? Did you see her face? Uh, um. The female student's face and voice are, in are indistinct. You feel like you've seen her some before somewhere. 
Don't you think it's scary that someone was killed on a foggy day? Huh? She was killed? Oh, uh, so did you see anyone suspicious around here? No, not really. We heard that you found it when you left school early. Did you have some personal business to take care of? I don't know if you guys have figured this out, but, uh, <laughs> that's Saki. Uh, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this shit. That's Saki Konishi. We just, we just met her like five minutes ago. Huh? That's... The reporter's enthusiasm seems to be perplexing the girl. Looking closely, she reminds you of Saki Konishi, Yosuke-senpai. Well, technically, our senpai as well, I guess. A tragedy that occurred near the local shopping district. Many store owners are raising concerns about losing customers as a result. <laughs> if they lose more customers, it'll be because you're making such a stink about it. Oh, you're one of those types of people, huh, Dojima? Sitting here talking to the TV. Jeez. It really is a bizarre case, isn't it? I mean, hanging someone upside down from an antenna. <laughs> he, he wanted people to see that the, what, the killer wanted to see people. Wow. Why can't I make a decent sentence? The killer wanted people to see what he has done to this person. So he hung them up. Out, upside down at that. So this dude is pretty hardcore. I, I wouldn't fuck with him. He's probably bald too. I'd have to say it's a warning or a sign from the call. We all know uh, bald people can beat people's asses, so uh, <laughs> yes, I don't plan on getting so my ass beat while I'm down come here. Come forward to take credit for the crime. <sighs> Loads of prank calls, though. So the cause of death is still unknown, and they don't have a single suspect yet. Taxpayers' funds are going to a police force who can't even figure out if this is an accident or a homicide. Oh shit. We'll be right back he after is these slumped. messages. Slumped. <laughs> At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with these our These people products. literally have the same commercial come on every day. Every day oh no! I'm going to take that as a no. No? He seems to be asleep. He slumped. Jeez. Uh. When I go to bed, I'll wake Dad up and tell him to go to his own room. Nanako is still watching TV. Well, it's a good thing you were going to tell him because I wasn't. Uh, I don't want to uh, mess with him. He's asleep. So, nothing catches our eye again. Good, because I don't want to be a fat ass. So, uh, I doubt we can go outside. You're reminded that you made a promise to test out the rumors of this midnight channel. You should check it out in your room. Alright. The rain falls into the night. You're reminded that you made a promise to- yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. This room is pretty depressing at night. You can hear it raining outside. Really? It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Could Chie's story be true?
out. Oh my god, that that hurt. Are you okay? No. Uh kind of. Okay. Well, good night. Well then, that was awkward. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. What the hell just happened? You decided to talk about it with the others tonight. Tonight? <laughs> Tomorrow, the fuck? Oh boy. Sorry. Perfect timing. Sorry, move over. What the hell? She ain't forced herself under your umbrella. You know what? I was gonna share it with you anyway. I did have my own, but I saw this kung fu movie where they use an umbrella to pull off some sweet moves. And I accidentally broke mine trying to mimic the movie. Huh, <laughs> that was smart. By the way, did you see it? I did. Haha, <laughs> do tell. But the person it showed. Hmm. Never mind. I'll save it for when the others are around. We're gonna be late for school. Walking to school with Chie. Uh, um, oh, uh, uh it, it's kind of awkward to only bring this up now, but we're pretty close here. Yeah, that's what happens when you share an umbrella with someone. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and run the rest of the way. Uh, you'll catch a cold, Chie. Please. Chie, please! Oh, right. Good point. If I catch a cold, it could spread. And that sucks for everyone. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll keep going with you. <laughs> I'm so glad that you don't like getting other people sick because that's the most asshole -ish thing that you could ever do. Alright, let's go. Hasn't even been two days yet, I think? Yeah, it's been two days. It hasn't even been a week yet. I already went on a date with Chie. I'm fucking desperate. Hello everyone, my name is Kimiko Sofue, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert. Really, I I, I couldn't tell, despite the cane and then the, the stupid looking hat. First a little about me, I love to use my dowager to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. Wow, that was that was really nice. I like that saying. I hope we can all enjoy the profound profundity. What the fuck of history together? <laughs> Did she just call us hoes? And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Narukami, please stand up. Oh great. The Western calendar is based on Anno Domini, the traditional believed year of Jesus Christ's birthday. Birth. What is the year before 1 AD called? Uh, uh I, I'm assuming it's 1 BC. I know I'm not that dumb. You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. If you think that history is like math, the 0 AD would be the natural assumption. But world history is much more complicated. The Gregorian calendar we use today is based on the Julian calendar which was made while there was no concept of the number zero as a number. That's why, when counting backwards, when we go from 1 AD straight to 1 BC, hopefully that was a nice introduction to world history. You gave the correct answer. I am slightly smarter now. Hmm. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Great. Y yo. Um, What's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? It's, uh, it's not really that important, but, well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Yes? Oh, I, you never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Weirdo. Yosuke, did you hear the rumor? Saki-senpai's supposedly the one who discovered that body. 
I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. We haven't really been talking to Yukiko recently. We've only seen her, what? We've only really talked to her for like a day. We've mainly been hanging out with uh, GA. Which I have no objections to, because, you know, base Atlas and Just GA forever waifu. Just seem way stressed out today. I guess they're running her ragged. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? Uh, well, what about you? I did! I seriously saw a girl! But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed base to be? Base Atlas, why do you do this to me? I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length. She was wearing our school uniform, and... Can we really not piece these these uh, clues together, or are we just literally that inept? Hey, I think that's the same person I saw. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. You need to upgrade that TV, Wait, bro. So you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? D does that mean we have the same soulmate? How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? I saw it all. You told them about what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your teeth? I swear I'm not on acid. It really happened to me. Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. But why would I dream about me falling into my TV? You know what? Anything can happen in a dream, and that's not the stupidest thing I've heard that's happened to somebody in their dream. So... That'd be one interesting dream, though. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. <laughs> that's pretty realistic. If it had been bigger... Oh, that reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV! You know what? I will never hear those words come out of that woman's mouth ever again. If it had have been bigger. If you catch my drift. LOL. Oh yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Wanna go check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Oh, definitely. My parents don't know anything about electronics. And I've just got to see my kung fu movies on the big screen. Uh -oh. what the? You know, we've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> you know, Yosuke, I've already said this before, but you're a piece of shit. They don't believe you at all. You decided to go to Juness with these assholes. Uh, a lot of people with uh, liking the new voice. They don't like some of the lines how the new voice actress delivers them. And to be honest, it's it's not as cringe worthy as some of the uh, the previous voice actors lines. For me at least. I really do enjoy this new voice actor, so with the cringe worthy parts that people so uh exclaim to be, I don't think it's that bad. Juness Electronics Department. Oh, this is gonna be a long day. Wow! This is huge! Thank you. And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? I don't know. Rich Something folks? that we are not. Honestly, not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. That's only. That's what fucking bumps say. <laughs> At least no, looking's free. Get in. Figures. <laughs> this proves it. It was all just a dream. But I didn't touch it yet. Besides, these flat screen TVs are so thin, you just end up on the other side. Ugh, what am I saying? So, Chia, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for? They said they wanted one that's cheap. You got any suggestions? <clears throat> well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all! There's way too many zeros! 
I should have asked what you meant by cheap right off the bat. You got connections, right? Come on, hook me up! You know I can't do that. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit, it's a little old, but... Anyway... With the TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Hmm... Uh, hello? Oh yeah, what kind of TV do you... Huh. Huh? Something wrong, Yosuke? I bet you guys believe me now. Is his arm... in the TV? Whoa... Uh... Is that some kind of... new model? L like with a, a new function? I get to touch people in the TV? Hell no! You gotta be kidding me! Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Uh, if you see my hand, then, uh, yeah. I, I did. Pretty cool, huh? Oh, man. This is for real. That's some magic trick, man. I don't believe so in magic, work, huh? Yosuke. What's the magician's secret? Huh. Both of them are staring at you astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. Peekaboo! Hey, don't do that! What are you doing? Oh my god! <laughs> There's empty space inside. You tell them that. What do you mean inside? Inside the TV. What, what do you mean empty space? Empty space inside the TV. Come on, guys. Seems very spacious in here. What do you mean space? Okay, if you really don't know, look up a fucking... Just, just look it up. Please. I mean, what's going on? Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. Uh. What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Hmm. Shit. Customers, they're coming. What? But we've got a guy half stuck in the TV here. I'm not really stuck. I can always pull my head out. I just choose not to. Hey, chill, you assholes! Wait, what? Well then, that happened. 